Welcome back. Well, we are discussing something very interesting concerning afforestation and deforestation. This is in light of International Forest Day, which was marked in March, but Ghana is yet to celebrate it. And joining me in studio, I have Mr. Joseph Opon. He's a public relations manager. He's with the Wildlife Division of the Forest Commission. Is it Forestry Commission? Welcome, sir. Thank you. Nana. So let's go straight into it. International Day of Forest for Ghana. When is it earmarked? International Day for Forest for Ghana is year mark uh, 13 to 14th of this month, May right. 2017. You mean June? June, rather. I um, may say day set aside by the United Nations for every sister organization mm. that is part of UN to celebrate this day, to create awareness mm. on how far um, we are. Uh, degrading our forest right. and also to encourage those who are undertaking good practices mm. to sustain their forest and then uh, it's also time for us to um, consider how much countries are degrading their environment and so we take positive steps to uh, correct mm. those mistakes that we are doing so it's a, a time for awareness creation yes. on the need to sustainably manage uh, our own uh, forest and, right. and the environment in particular. Mm. So like we know, you went celebrated in March, but why did Ghana choose to celebrate it in June this year? Uh, thank you, Nana. Um, Ghana has chosen this day because um, apart from creating the awareness, mm. it is also linked to taking up a very uh, important activity and in Ghana, we have decided to do a lot more tree planting. Mm. And so we look at the season where we can get uh, much rainfall. Right. Because we wouldn't be able to water the mm. plants when uh, we, we, plant, we them. plant them. Definitely. Uh, yeah, and so we need to look at the nature and see when we have a mm. lot of rainfall. Right. And May and June have proved to be the most rainfall important season. period where we experience a lot of rainfall. Right. Hence the date. So it's timely. Yeah, it's for that. timely I mean, you yes. get blessings from God. God. You don't need to put any money into exactly, um, watering exactly. the plant. Anyway, but what's the theme for this year? The theme for this year is forest and energy. Mm. But in Ghana, we've chosen um, a special theme as forest energy implication for Ghana. Ghana. Right. We are all aware of how fast we are degrading our environment, mm -hmm. especially with regard to the yeah, burning so. of charcoal, mm -hmm. Um, our the meanings of uh, Galamse, yeah. which is destroying our total environment. Mm -hmm. We're also talking about illegal um, poaching, Logging. poaching in our protected mm -hmm. areas, wildlife protected areas, having negative impact on wildlife species right. and uh, what have you. Mm -hmm. And so the most important thing is that uh, majority of Ghanaians, about 70%, mm -hmm. depend on uh, wood energy for our ho household choices and other commercial activities. Wow. And this has had a negative effects on the mm. environment. Mm. And therefore, we need to do a lot of uh, afforestation to bring back this uh, forest that we have degraded. What and are some of the events that will um, be celebrated in this? We're going to have, um, we have already had a lunch on okay. 21st March. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a, a, a deba at Hohoi in a particular town called uh, Big Bla. Okay. And we'll have meeting with the community leaders mm. and other communities to educate them on the need for this um, planting, planting mm. and also to win their support for future uh, okay. development. And so the next day, which is the 14th of June, mm. we also have tree, tree planting, planting along the river of Dei, and mm. um, this important river that feeds the Vota River, where oh. we have our energy. Okay. And therefore, there's the need for us to plant along this river so that we stop ever uh, the evaporation okay. and other activities going on along this area. And then we inculcate into the inhabitants the need to 
plant, plant. more trees, even around our own environment. Very well. But is um, the Forestry Commission providing seedlings for, you know, interested parties? Exactly. We mm. have a lot of seedlings to provide the individuals, companies, wow. and communities who feel interested okay. to go into wood loss. Because we are encouraging mm. people to use their own wood for these household activities. Right. And so we have uh, fast growing mm. trees for distribution to individuals. So where can companies. they obtain that? We have region and district offices okay. all along the uh, uh, country. That and therefore we are anticipating that uh, where we're going to have the DEBA, mm. uh, very close to Hohoi, where we have our office. Right. We also have Jasekai and other places in the Bota region. Okay. In fact, we have offices in all the regions in and Ghana. in most of the districts spread in Ghana. So w our intention is that we are making it through your medium mm. to create the awareness for people to approach these offices mm. for support. We are giving them the technical support for them to undertake this tree planting exercise. Very well. Anyway, so I've been talking to Mr. Joseph Opong and we're talking about International Forest Day, which is earmarked for the 13th to the 14th of June. Please join. Remember, when the last tree dies, the last man dies. We'll take a quick break at this point. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. <laughs> 